Hmm. So here we are going to demonstrate about dual axis uh, solar tracking system. The main components of our project are uh, solar panel, which is going to generate the voltage. So this generated voltage is stored into the battery by using a charging circuit. Here you can see the charging circuit terminals. So there are uh, DB107 bridge rectifier, 1000 microfarad capacitor, diode to not get towards current, uh, toggle switch to on and off the uh, power supply from the charging circuit. This is the battery terminal where you have to connect the charge the battery and you have to place it in the sunlight so that the battery gets charged. So and keep in mind that uh, the toggle switch should be turned on to connect the terminal. Whereas uh, to charge this battery, you have to disconnect it and uh, place it over here. And you can charge it manually by using a uh, function generators. So these are the lead acid batteries. So this is 4 volts 1.5 amp. This is uh, 12 volts uh, 1.2 amps for the motors. This is for the electronic circuit. So here uh, regulated power supply section is going to convert to 30 volts, see 12 volts DC to 5 volts DC where two regulator uh, ICs are given parallelly uh, to give input power supply to the controller and for the sensors and the into 93 driver IC. So these two terminals and regulator is connected to the controller and the uh, into 93 driver whereas other uh, side of regulator is connected to all four sensors. So what is the use of this driver is uh, whatever the data coming from the uh, LDR sensor is been uh, traveling uh, via uh, LDR sensor and going to the uh, microcontroller and where the controller is going to decode the data and give input power supply to the L293D driver so that the driver uh, will be uh, able to rotate the motors uh, clockwise and anti-clockwise direction so that it, it moves the uh, panel according to the direction of the sunlight. So this is how the light dependent resistors are going to give input signal to the controller and gives an output signal uh, to the L293 driver IC where it is going to take the power supply from the uh, 1 amp battery and gives to the individual motor where you can see uh, at the bottom end uh, Johnson motor, high torque motor but because the uh, weight of the frame is very much high so have we have used a Johnson motor and where uh, we are going to use a 3.5 rpm gate DC motor. This is also permanent magnet DC motor. Uh, with high torque so that uh, the panel can rotate uh, clockwise and anti-clockwise direction so this is how uh, we are going to demonstrate the dual axis solar tracking system microcontroller used so the controller which we are going to use an uh, arduino uh, nano atmega 328 is a microcontroller which is present in the arduino nano board